have already learnt what prepositions are. So, a preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. Now, today we are going to learn about some more prepositions. Ron ordered a pizza and a burger with a chocolate cake. Now, here with is a preposition. And what does it mean? It means Ron ordered a pizza and a burger in addition to a chocolate cake. So here with gives us the meaning of in addition to. The tall boy with red hair is my cousin. Now here with is the preposition and the meaning is somebody having a particular characteristic. So, when I say the tall boy with red hair, I mean the tall boy who has red hair. So, you can see this is the boy I am talking about. The log is drifting with the current. So, here with is the preposition and it is showing that the log is drifting along with or together with the current. So, if you take a look at the animation, you will see that the log is moving with the current of the water. So, with tells us that something which is happening together with or along with something else. The car had collided with a tree. So, with is the preposition here. Now, when we say collided with, it means to hit against something. So, here the car had hit against a tree. So, you can see this is the car and it has hit against this tree and it is in a very miserable condition right now. So, collided with together means to get hit against something. Terry is having problems with his PlayStation. So, here with is the preposition and it means in relation to or with regards to. So, his problems are related to his PlayStation. So, when we say Terry is having problems with his PlayStation, I mean that the problems are in relation to his PlayStation. My dad is angry with me. So, here with is the preposition and here too it means in relation to or with regards to. So, dad is angry in relation to me or with regards to me or we can also say that dad is angry towards me. Now, whenever we use feelings, behaviors and attitude towards a certain person, we can use the preposition with. A teacher has to be patient with the children. So, with is the preposition here. And it once again shows the meaning of in relation to or with regards to. So, the teacher has to be patient in relation to the children. So, whenever a teacher has to deal with the children, she needs to be patient. So, once again you see this is a kind of attitude or a behavior in relation to somebody, in this case the children. The judge agreed with the jury. Now, with is the preposition here, but you must also notice that here we have the verb agreed before with. Now, together agreed with gives us the meaning of in favor of or supporting something. So, when I say the judge agreed with the jury, I mean the judge supported or was in favor of the jury. I am blessed with loving parents. Now, with is the preposition once again. And I am blessed with loving parents means I am blessed to have such loving parents. So, here with gives us a sense of having something. She filled the jar with lemonade. So, with is the preposition in this case. And it is used to show the substance that has been used to fill the jar. So, here lemonade is that substance which has been used 
to fill the jar. So, which shows us which substance has been used for the purpose. The runway was enveloped with thick fog. Here as well, with is the preposition and it shows the substance that has enveloped the runway. So, with is helping us to show which substance is used for a particular purpose. She has been in bed with fever for a few days. Now, with is the preposition here and it has a very different meaning. So, here with means because of. So, she has been in bed because of fever for a few days. Her face crumpled with laughter. So, with is the preposition and it shows because of or due to. So, when you have to show a reaction which has been caused due to something, we use the preposition with. So, here the reaction is her face crumpled and it has been caused by laughter. So, we have written her face crumpled with laughter. So, now that we have learned about the different uses of the preposition with, can you try and fill in the blank with the appropriate preposition? So, the sentence is, the bucket was overflowing dash water and the options are with and from. So, what will be the answer? Well, if I say the bucket was overflowing from water, it does not make any sense. So, our correct answer would be with. So, the bucket was overflowing with water. Here, with is telling us what substance has led to the overflowing of the bucket. So, we have used the preposition with. The bucket was overflowing with water. So, today we have learned about some of the different uses of the preposition with. So, we have to practice more exercises on the preposition with and look for more examples that use the preposition with with. We are going to learn about more prepositions very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.